Hello, uh, my name is Uchira Paul John and I'm going to teach you how to secure the iOS image and the configuration file within the Cisco router. So the first thing I have to do, we have to know that the, this securing the image file is very important because sometimes the malicious code will affect the configuration, the configuration image and the iOS image within the, within the, the router. And now uh, let us open and we go direct with our configuration. Open. Then from here, uh, we try to run. We have to let, let us run um, the resource flash. Then we see what is inside the flash. So flash. In a flash here, you will find that there's a lot of directory content within the flash memory. And this flash, uh, the one of the, they say contain also images, which is within the, uh, the flash. So this image is not protected because it is outside. And anybody, any, for in case of anything, it will get corrupted and it will, leave it, it will be difficult for you to configure it back when you are working in organization. So to configure it, let's go to global configuration and see what's supposed to be done. Global. We are now in the global configuration and let's go direct the configuration. Set secure. Good. Good. So this secure boot image command will secure the IOS images within the router. Then you type another one said secure boot config. And from the message here, it is successfully secure the configuration archive. Secure boot image will probably secure the, the iOS image within the, within the router. And the secure boot configuration, it will probably maintain by copying the, copying the configuration file from the malicious attack that can erase the content of the participant storage within the NVRAMs or flash memory and it is very important because sometimes it will hide the copy it the hide copy it modify it remove all other things from the file from the from the file content so you cannot able to copy it or remove or hide or view the content of the file which is very important it the, the booting configurations will also uh, will take the snapshot of the running configuration and securely archive them in a persistent storage in the flash. To verify the image configuration, you, you go, you, you save the configuration first, you end, you go to the, uh, the privilege, you say it so, so secure. Good. Good set. These are all the files that we have been working from. The file, the, the, the iOS image and the and the and the configuration files. Which is within the archive. Now for this one we archive it and you can check from here the, the file part it is archived and the image is secured, the booting image is secured within this. Now, if you run so, so flash again. You'll find that the image is, is no longer there because it's secured somewhere. And this one is very important. So we hide the files, images. Only the image left is this one. The default and then categories and other.
these are the status and the name of the file with the length and the file size also here the size available in a memory in a in byte processor board system flash and other things so this one the command is very important can hide for you the iOS image within the, the Cisco router which is very good uh, now if you want to go back again and disable all the configurations you just go to the global configuration you type no secure secure boot image If you read the matches here, is the matches say the disabled uh, secure image archived, archived, and you run also secure boot configuration. Feed. Now you have disabled everything, and you are back to the to normal. And if you are back to normal now, you can you, you just write do write. To save the comparison and you end to go to the global to the privilege then show flash now from here you can now see the content of the files here it's back to normal before we have only two content but now we have three content which is back to normal and thank you so much this is one of the security uh, configuration area where whereby you are as administrator you need to know to enable to secure your router within the organization thank you so much and next time we can see we are able to see a lot of things concerning the Cisco security within the organization thank you so much uh, don't forget to subscribe like or comment in case of any comment we are able to return you back to get you feedback in the normal one thank you have a nice day